Good morning, everyone. How are you? All right, let's see who's here. We have Kenny, Robin, Mandy, Ashley, Katrina. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, let's see. Miss anyone? No, we're good. So we are still coloring this page because I'm still, uh, Steve has been calling this my raptor hand because it's all weird and gimpy. Uh, I did end up going to the doctor and this one is healing along nicely, but uh, I can't, the way that I got cut, it was right on my knuckle and I can't bend my finger, otherwise it won't heal. So it has to be in this fancy um, little splint here uh, for about a week, for about a week. So in the meantime, we're gonna be doing some gimpy coloring and and we're just gonna kind of be yeah my raptor he's been coming up with all kinds of names for it when i originally came home from the doctor yesterday they had the two fingers together and they wrapped it in some orange wrap and he called it my carrot finger hi verica <laughs> and so then i got it home and i rewrapped it myself and everything and i said look it's not a carrot and then he sent me a picture of a purple carrot <laughs> and i'm like oh okay <laughs> So yes, we've had um, we've had a number of, of of names for it anyway. All right, uh, let's see. Tina, good morning. So day number one of the Arteza uh, Advent Advent calendar is out. Hello, Hannah. And today's was. Hang on, I'm gonna grab the ornament here. The video is up in um, my reels. Uh, on Instagram and it's up on YouTube shorts. Let me grab the, hey tight, hey tight. I wasn't sure if I was gonna show it, but I will. Um, let me grab the paint real quick. So today's first item from the, I have them all in this box here and it's buried at the bottom because it was like day number one. Hang on. It's right there, come on. Come out, come out little tube. Oh, that's the brown one. Okay, maybe I can't dig it out. I don't wanna spend this whole time. Ah, found it. There it is. This was the item that came in day number one today. This is the pearl pink tulip uh, acrylic paint. It's got mica and it's really pretty. Uh, all right, I didn't look into my <laughs> calendar yet. Be right back. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Uh, and I made this handy dandy little ornament and I used the Arteza um, acrylic paint pens on the outside and then I sealed it with a little um, Winsor & Newton gloss varnish spray uh, and this, yeah, goes up on the tree. So yes, today's was paint. So it's not a super dupe, super, super duper, super in-depth uh, tutorial on the reel because obviously it's like less than 30 seconds, but it gives you an idea for a craft maybe that you want to do. So yeah, that was today's. Also, as far as advent calendars are concerned, ow, <laughs> whacked my raptor finger on the tripod. Oh my gosh. It's been, it's been a day, man. It's been a day. I realized I can't open things very well. Um, I have my water bottle here and I was wrestling with this lid for like 15 minutes yesterday until I finally used some little rubber grippy uh, things to open it. Um, but we have day one of the coloring advent calendar. Uh, it's little, little gingerbreads. And so if you have this advent calendar, I, my goal is to color along with you. So I'm going to post this one a little bit later, but yes, gingerbreads were day number, number uno today. And we got loads of other food items coming up. So that is that. Thanks, Kenny. All right, well, let's dive in and get a little bit of coloring done, I think. But yeah, if you wanna find the uh, coloring advent calendar, that is over on my Etsy store, um, and you can color along. What happened to your finger? <gasps> Funny you should ask, Teresa. So, I am 
actually know a fella named Gordon Ramsay and he called me up and he said, Emily, I think you're so cool and so good at coloring. I want you to come on MasterChef. Why? Does it have anything to do with coloring? Absolutely not, but I want you to come on MasterChef. So I said, Gordon Ramsay, that's so cool. I'll go ahead and come on MasterChef. So he said, okay. So I got on a plane and I went to MasterChef and I had to show the contestants how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because clearly they just have no idea how to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I go up to the front and I'm like, okay, I got my peanut butter, I got my jelly, I've got my loaf of bread. But here's the problem is they didn't slice the bread before they gave it to me. So I decided to slice the bread, but instead I got my fingers. So you can blame uh, Gordon Ramsay for, 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 my, for my raptor finger here. Or in an actual reality, I cut my finger on a can and it hit the knuckle and now I have to hold it straight until it heals. <laughs> ah, so there's that. Uh, anyway, did I, did I mention, um, yeah, yeah, I lost the fight with a tin can. <laughs> right, Kenny? Oh, who knows how many more I'll come up with today. And actually, I thought of Ashley too. I do. I thought like I should. <laughs> right? Yes. It's it's fantastic. It's so good. It's so good that uh, Gordon Ramsay. Uh, Gordon Ramsay uh, really really wanted it. Yes, I hope it will too. In fact, um, Ashley, I know you're lurking, but I thought of you today, and I thought, you know what, Ashley would absolutely love. Ashley would love it if I gave him a personality and gave him googly eyes. I don't know how distracting that is. Uh, or, or she, she, her name is Paula. Paula the finger splint. And she's gonna, she's gonna, nope, that's just too creepy. I can't deal with it. Sorry, Ashley, I can't deal with the googly eyes. <laughs> They're just staring right at me. Okay, I should probably do some coloring before everybody thinks I'm completely insane. All right then, uh, moving on. Let's see, what do I want to do today? I was just zooming in, but what do I want to color today? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Which ones, which ones? We can just do the flowers. It'd be easy enough. Um, we are using the Black Widow. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, Tina. Uh, we're gonna use the Black Widow dragons and only the dragon set because we're having fun with it. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's grab some rosy. Okay, here's the other deal, is I can only color with my forefinger and my thumb, so that's why we're not doing anything too complicated, um, just because I have to hold it funky. Hi, Pamela. Okay, but I did color uh, the first day of the advent calendar like this. Took me a little longer than usual, but I did do it. How are you, Pamela? Is everybody getting in full swing of Christmas here? It is December 1st now, so if you've been waiting, you can put up your tree now. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and grab Lady Jane. Finish the page to set on. Oh no, the only dang page that was complete. I'm the queen of whips. Yeah, no, I'm right there with you. I don't think I've finished any full page in here yet. But we started this one on um, on Monday, and since I can't do any super complicated coloring right now, I want you to look something up. Uh, Mandy, I, I'm not gonna look it up right now, but if you wanna send me a link or something, I can look at it later. Yeah, it's feeling a little bit better, Pamela. I've just managed to traumatize Paul forever? Oh no! Was it my Gordon Ramsay story and peanut butter and jelly? I'm sorry, Paul. Are you okay? Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, Mandy, if you want me to look something up, just go ahead and uh, uh, send, me, send me a link or something. I'm sorry, Paul. Okay, Ruby Rose. Oh, with the googly eyes. <laughs> It's cool. It's cool. It just, it gave, it, her name's Paula. We gave her personality. 
She's in Ruby Rose. I mean, because we could just, you know, sneak him in just right here on the, on the side here. Just one. It's about my state. It's called Bronner's and Frankenmuth. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not, I don't know much about it. It's cracking up when you started the rainbow with the orange. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm, I have no idea what I was thinking on there, but you know, it's, it's, it's given, it's given the rainbow personality, you know, like, I don't know. I've been having, I've been having moments this morning. I had a few wins this morning, you know, a couple good things happen. You know, I had to call customer service about some stuff for the kids this morning and, and I was able to successfully do that. But then I turned around and, and tried to open the blueberry jam this morning and it did not work. Oh, it's a Christmas store. That's cool. Finally got my copy of the book this week. So I'm on day three now, but I think I'll skip that page and color along with you. Aw, blame it on painkillers. <laughs> I really wasn't thinking, Kenny. Absolutely not. Or lack thereof. Yeah, I'm not on any painkillers for it. It's just achy. Like, I took something for a headache yesterday, but it's just achy. And the only reason it's in the splint is because where it got cut, if I bend my finger, it reopens it. So, like, when I went yesterday... Oh, hang on. My work notifications are going off real quick. Hang on. Um, when I went yesterday, like it was still, anyway, the point, I don't want to gross anybody out, but the point is it was still, uh, clear that it needed to be sealed. Okay. I also discovered something else like using handheld sharpeners. It's really difficult. Um, so anyway, she used some surgical glue to seal it and then put the splint to keep it straight. So this one actually isn't too bad because it just has a little one. And actually the only reason it has a wrap on it is because I have a Band-Aid on and I just thought Band-Aid was ugly and you guys wouldn't want to stare at that. So I'm like, we'll make it purple. Um, so that has purple, but this one, this one has to be kept straight. Okay, trying to flip the pencil around here. Oh, that'll be fun, Mandy. So it's not, it, it only hurts the most, like if it accidentally gets like bent the wrong way. Otherwise it's just kind of like a dull ache and it's just because it was, it was so deep. So I don't know. That's the hope, Pamela. She told me she was really impressed with my first aid skills, but part of it is as soon as it happened, I like, I ran to the sink and I rinsed it, but it like, it started stinging and I'm like, oh, that's not good. So uh, then my next step was I just grabbed a paper towel and I immediately held it to it and held it above my head. And then as soon as I got to the point where, you know, I could, I could remove the paper towel, I went ahead and applied the, the gauze to it and just wrapped it up and just left it. Oh, that's cool, Mandy. Uh, calm lime. Hi, Steve. So, and, and then later that evening when I took off the bandage to put some ointment on it after stream, um, then I, that's when I realized it was hurting as much as it was. And I was like, uh, I should probably go to the doctor. So I went yesterday and she's like, Hey, you did a good job. It's a clean, it's, it's, it's clean. And so I was like, all right, cool. She's like, let's just put some surgical glue. And yeah, it was fantastic. The only thing is, the only thing is it wasn't completely dry when she put the gauze on afterwards. So, um, I've actually got like a little piece of gauze stuck to the, <laughs> stuck to the surgical glue. So I'm going to have to work around that a little bit. But I was like, oh, OK, then. Uh, only like a week. I can probably take it off at the end of the week. At least uh, that's that's what I'm thinking. Like maybe by I'm, I'm thinking Friday will probably be the last stream with it. So it's not like it's broken. It just has to be straight to heal. That's all. So, yeah, hopefully just like a week. All right, so saber is what we're gonna use now, which would be really nice because inadvertently, because I'm sticking out my other two fingers, my pinky's getting a little stiff because since I hold out these fingers anyway, I just instinctually hold out my pinky too. So I was just like, yeah, this needs to be done quickly. Oh, thanks, Kenny. Yeah, so hopefully not too long. Could be worse. It could be my pointer finger. Like, I use that a lot. But it's interesting. It's interesting. You don't realize how often you use, like, just different, 
you know, like different, like, I don't know, you don't, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think too much about my other fingers. You know, you use your thumb and your forefinger a lot, but you just don't think of it. So like one of the things I discovered that's really hard to do um, is start the car to put the key in and turn it. Cause normally, normally you grab it and you're, you're like holding it and your fingers are bent to turn it. But now I can't. So it's like, I have to turn my whole arm because otherwise the fingers like hitting it. <laughs> I know, right? It's so fancy. That's good, Kenny. Yeah, it just makes me super fancy all the time. Oh, hi, Joanna. Yeah, I can't get it wet yet. I can't get it wet yet. But I think, yeah, I think it'll just fall apart. And in the meantime, I'm just, I've carefully trimmed the gauze around it. It's mostly, the only reason I need to be able to see it is in case it gets inflamed or anything. That's the only reason I have to keep an eye on it. But I think it'll be fine. It doesn't hurt anymore. And there's, you know, nothing... Well, any, any more than it already does, but it'll be fine. Morning, Celine. How are the fingers? Achy, but good. Achy, but good. Yeah. Yeah, I had to keep it dry, which is another pain. But I, I put, you know, I put a glove on yesterday and taped up the bottom. You know, anytime I need to shower or whatever. But doing things one-handed is super fun. <laughs> Okay, so we're still just using Saber. So yeah, we're just doing easy kind of chill coloring. We haven't even really got into the Christmas themed coloring or anything yet. I thought about that. I'm like, should I be putting Christmas on? You know, like the radio does. But I was just like, no, nah, we'll just do normal stuff until we do a Christmas page. Okay, let's do, let's see. Oh yeah, it, it what well and because I realized that I I had hit it harder than I intended. So after stream the other night, um, I mentioned a bit ago, but after stream I I had taken the bandages off to change it and kind of check and see how it's doing. I'm using Fizz now, and I realized like I accidentally bent it when we were doing it, and it hurt like sharp shooting pain, which made me think. I told Steve I was like. You know, there's not a whole lot of space between where your finger starts and where your knuckles at. And I was just like, oh my gosh, what if I like nicked the bone or something? It's definitely, it definitely did something. But I did find out from the doctor that the nerves are on the sides of the finger because that was my achy breaky fingers, right? Uh, the sides of the finger is where the nerves are and nothing was numb and I could still feel the tip. So I didn't think I did anything too damaging, you know? But yeah, so I went in and she made me feel better. She said, you know, like can, can incidents are, uh, are fairly common cooking, cooking injuries. I was like, all right, well, I'm glad that this isn't, you know, something totally, totally out of the ordinary. All right, let's sharpen our blender, but it will be nice when I can take it off. But like today I was cutting, I was cutting up some cheese to go with my breakfast and, you know, I had my finger out, but at one point, like it bent I don't know, some way, but you could ask Steve. I was just like, sudden like sharp pain. I'm like, son of a biscuit. But it's just those things where you just don't realize how often you use your whole hand to do so many different things. Just like, you know, opening up the lid to your water bottle. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Turning on the keys in your car. It just makes you appreciate the little things. I mean, obviously if this was permanent, you know, I would, I would, uh, yeah, yeah, it was good. And because that was the other thing is I wanted to ask her, like, should I be getting a tetanus shot? Um, because I didn't really remember. I didn't really remember getting one. Um, but uh, she said that you actually get one when you're pregnant. Um, and my last pregnancy was within 10 years. So uh, she... Uh... <laughs> Look what I did to this finger. Uh, I did not do that. I laid it out flat. Um, but uh, yeah, so because the, the tetanus shot was in was within 10 years, I didn't need to get another one. So I was just like, sweet, no shot. But yeah, I had taped it up pretty snug. So I actually had to like uh, cut the tape off for her because she was just like, oh my. And I was just like, well, I didn't want it to move while I was sleeping. On the plus side, Sister Act 2 was playing in the uh, in the doctor's office. Honestly, I really feel like it's the superior Sister Act. Sister Act 1, Sister Act 2, 
Funny thing is, is I saw Sister Act 2 before I saw Sister Act 1, but I mean, Whoopi Goldberg, the woman's a genius. It was so good. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. <laughs> Hi, Joanna. Well, actually, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the story. It's kind of funny how it happened. So it turns out that I secretly have an aunt who is immensely wealthy and she has a yacht. And so she invited me to go on her yacht, you know, me and the family. And I was like, okay, cool. So she's having a party there and everything. And she had some really good food and she had, she was serving turkey legs, oddly enough, turkey legs. And um, so I was just like, you know, it'd be really nice if I took my turkey leg and I went out to the balcony of the yacht and ate my turkey leg out there. So, you know, I'm kind of leaning over the edge and, and eating my turkey leg and everything when suddenly out of the water jumps a shark. And I'm like, holy heck. And he does this little flip and everything, but I'm, I'm shocked. But instead he pops his head up out of the water and he says, hey, hey, that, uh, that turkey leg there looks pretty good. Can I, uh, can I have that? And I go, wow, Mr. Shark, that was a pretty cool flip. You know, I, I think I could give you the turkey leg. And he said, cool. So he jumps up to grab the turkey leg, but, oh my God, I don't have my coffee yet. But when he took it out of my hand, he just oh so gently grazed my finger. And so, um, yes, a, a shark, a shark did this when, when I went to give him the turkey leg that I was eating on my, on my super rich uh, uh, aunt's yacht. <laughs> <laughs> are they getting more and more ridiculous does this one uh does this one win the uh christmas tree robot uh, in all reality uh joanna i lost a fight with a can of beans and it cut my knuckle and now i have to keep it and let it heal straight <laughs> right sharknado <laughs> that's good stuff right there But yes, it's just a tin can. Not nearly as exciting as the uh, yacht shark. You missed it, he had googly eyes on earlier. Or she, she, sorry, her name is Paula. <laughs> they gave me zero painkillers. I have coffee and water this morning. That is all. Nope, this is just, this is just normal me. This is, this is, this is what you get. You can ask Steve. Literally, uh, I'm I'm upstairs and he's downstairs today. He's working from home, and uh, I was upstairs just stomping all funny just to see how long it would take for him to be like, "What are you doing up there?" <laughs> uh, Mandy, yes, I do. I do. I do. Yeah, I'll be all right. Anything for a good story. I know, right? <laughs> normal. A huge stretch. Absolutely. Where's Where's the fun in normal? I mean, honestly. Normal isn't any fun. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna do it on purpose, my gosh. All right, Dark Knight. I felt bad, little Steve. He was the only one home with me when it happened and he was very concerned, but you know, it's not like I cried. I yelped when, when it happened and everything, but he was just like, what's going on? I'm like, nothing, mommy's fine. Everything is fine. Exactly. See, we'll just, we'll have to compile all the stories and just, you know, see which one is the most outlandish story we came up with. <laughs> thing of it is, is this finger thing is taking up most of the space. Like, how distracting is this? <laughs> Zoom out just a little bit. There we go. But yeah, for those of you that are just coming in, we have the first holiday calendar uh, post for the Arteza advent calendar. And uh, we need a poll for the stories. Yes, which, which one was your favorite? <laughs> the one involving Gordon Ramsay or Rosarita the fashion mogul or <laughs> the ninja squirrels? Cooking X a few years ago, I could, oh, oof, oof, yeah. Yeah, that's no good. I was concerned that like I would need stitches, but she said because I had pressed it, everything kind of back together, it was already healing back well. So that's why she just used the surgical glue. So I was just like, well, that's cool. It was purple. So, you know, that's pretty. 
So in the meantime, I just gotta keep this bugger straight until it heals. Oh, thank you, Joanna. Can we get some hypes in chat for Joanna? Exclamation I'm point high. Girl. And use those handy dandy emotes. Yeah, that's that's not a good that's not a good place. Yeah, the ninja squirrels, right? <laughs> thank you, Joanna. I appreciate you. Yeah, it was uh yeah, it's it's been it's been entertaining for sure. I wouldn't recommend it. Like it's it's not fun. It's not fun. Okay. And turn, turn, turn. So let's see, tomorrow's oh my gosh, okay, stuff is stuff is in the way. My clumsiness factor has just been upped. Oh my gosh, I can't. Fingers! Okay. Anyway, tomorrow uh, on the coloring advent calendar, we have a safety can opener. I know, right? I probably do. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Tomorrow is hot chocolate. It's hot chocolate. So today's was gingerbread men and then hot chocolate. And then we got pumpkin pie, tamales, mincemeat pies. We got like mulled wine and we got loads of stuff on here. But tomorrow is going to be hot chocolate. I hurt my wrist by pulling up on my grandma's oxygen tank. My wrist still hurts. I did it in 2017. Ooh, gosh. Yeah, that doesn't sound very, very good. I've broken a few things over time. Uh, fractured my pinky toe, broke my ankle. Hmm, might be it actually. Those were the, those were the worst ones. I'm just, I'm just very accident prone. I really shouldn't be trusted with sharp objects. Ah, thanks, Kenny. But yeah, I actually, I used Marco Rafines on the gingerbread men and I just sat down and got all that. It took me a little bit longer just because of my sausage finger over here. But you know who I've been enjoying watching with advent calendars um, is uh, Jackie from uh, um, 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 Nerdy Crafter, the Nerdy Crafter. She's been uh, reviewing a lot of advent calendars. It's great. She just did one about Build-A-Bear and the kids loved watching that one. All right, Pleasant Blue. But our Christmas cards arrived um, the other day, so I'm gonna start putting those together and getting those out. Okay, let's see, can I, <laughs> I'm gonna have to color this two-handed maybe. No, okay, I got it, I got it. I definitely can't do anything like super, super detailed with the coloring at the moment, but it's only temporary. I get a sip of coffee here. Here we go. All right. Um, let's do because I don't actually have. Well, I guess I have the color chart here, but I don't want to search for the colors, so I'm actually just grabbing them based off of like their pencil barrel colors. Let's see. Ruby Rose. Is that what we want? Hmm, actually, no, we're not going to get Ruby Rose. Let's do, what's this one? Sundown. Do we want that? Eek, no. Nah, we'll get Ruby Rose. I'm talking to myself a lot. I apologize. There we go. Enjoy your coffee. No, I was pretty proud of myself. I got a ton done this morning. So um, my daughter came home yesterday and she brought home her school pictures. And we're like, that's awesome. They're so cute. And so we asked little Steve, I said, well, where are your school pictures? And he was like, my teacher said my parents didn't order any. And I'm like, excuse me, um, because we definitely did. And so I was able to get the number of the picture company this morning and I called them up and I said, where's my pictures? And apparently someone just dropped the ball, but uh, I was able to be like, all right, so we ordered the prints, but it's going to take like seven to 10 business days to get them printed. And then like another week to get them ordered. And so, uh, 
And so I was just like, can you just send them to me digitally? And they said yes. And I think it was partially because they were mildly embarrassed that somebody dropped the ball over there. So they went ahead and sent it to me. And so I got his pictures this morning and I was like, yay. I was very happy. Oh my gosh, that's so bright. You cannot see anything on that little cam. I'm so sorry, hang on. A bit better. My mom got me the Harry Potter Funko Pop calendar this year. It's so cute. Oh, I love that. So I have to like turn it with just my two fingers here. This is very, very entertaining. Okay, orange petal. That's awesome, Tina. Well, I watched the, uh... oh no, wait, I meant to do that here, my bad. Actually, we could do that orange there in the middle. It's a nice orange. Um, I watched the Build-A-Bear one with the kids that uh, Nerdy Crafter just did, and the kids loved it. They thought it was hilarious. They really enjoy watching it. Occasionally, she'll make, you know, like, it's not, it's not you know, a made-for-kids thing, so I always watch it with them. Um, but, uh, but they really like her, like, opening up the craft kits and everything. They think it's hilarious. Oh, I'm sorry, Mandy. Hopefully that feels better soon. Oh, good, 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 me too. It's a good one, it's a really good one. What, my finger? When I sharpen? <laughs> No, it's just like, it's hard to, it's hard to like grip. Like I, I'm just realizing how not strong my finger and my thumb are by themselves together. And so it's just like really hard to turn it. It's really hard to turn it because I can't, I can't grab it with, with this one. <laughs> uh, okay, mellow yellow. Yeah, so it's not that it hurts. I just have like zero strength in just my two fingers there. And so it's really hard to grip. So when I'm doing it, like I have to turn it with this. It's just, yeah. Oh, well definitely don't re-injure it, Mandy. Just, you know, rest up and you can coloring will still be there when you feel better. Um, I wanna do something. Let's grab the, what was that? It's just awkward, honestly. Uh, Ruby Rose. Not all the way around. I know we're upside down here, but I'll flip it in a second. I think you can just get the Johanna calendar from uh, from Amazon, can't you? All right, let's flip it around here. Oof, 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 oof. Here we go. Those colors turned out nice with it. Let's go ahead and use a blender a little bit. Here we go. All right, blender. But I did get um, the majority of the kids' Christmas shopping done. I might need to get some more stuff for the advent calendar, but that's about it. Oh, nice, Chris. Yeah, I need to, so I've got the, oh, I need to switch the calendar to December. Um, I've got the 2021 one hanging up in the office. And then I've got the 2022 hanging out in the closet getting ready to, Getting ready to go up. Do you guys want to see it? Let me grab it real quick. If you're interested in getting it, I can grab it so you can see it. Wow, that is still just so bright. Hang on. I've got the window open, so sometimes that makes it brighter than it usually is. There we go. That's a little bit better. Oh, awesome. Oh, well, that's right. The colors one. I saw you were doing that. I'm so glad. Knock anything over here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, tried something on the floor, and I kicked it. So, so this one is the 
2021 here. So this is the 2021. It was kind of based off Inky Wonderlands. Let's see, let's make sure I don't have anything. Yeah, we're good. So this is this month's, it's got the poinsettias. So this is this year's calendar. So I'll rehang that up. <laughs> I made you do it. I twisted your arm. Um, but this one is the 2022. So, oh, it actually starts now. Well, I mean, you could hang it up here and hang it up for December. And then we've got the tree. Let's see. Actually, you know what we could do? Let's flip it over. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's basic. I don't know if you, um, how many of you actually color the calendars or not. Uh, December's for 2022 is this one. 22 weekly calendar. Oh yeah, that's the weekly uh, planner and calendar. I think I have that one too. Do I? I think I do. I saw that Arteza has some new, uh, do I have 2022? No, that's 2021. Yes, I have 2022. Um, Arteza has some new planners as well. I was thinking about maybe checking those out. Um, but this is the 2022 weekly calendar. I don't think I have anything written in here yet. Nope. So these are always nice. I like using these to like to go, you know what I mean? But yeah, definitely plenty of calendar options for Johanna. All right, let's see. Headphones. All right, let's do another stamp, shall we? I'm gonna get a sip of coffee here. Welcome back, Celine. What kind of coffee did you get? Let's do some nice simple leaves, shall we? Oh, you don't want the planner? Yeah, that was the first one. That was the first one you grabbed. Let's see, let's see. Um, What's this one? Let's grab dragon. I was trying to see, so as far as new colors that were added in this one, so there's a number of new greens, but I don't feel like, ooh, nice. I think I'll get the planner for next year. It's about time I actually make some decent schedules for myself to stick to, right? Oh, awesome. Did you open up today's, uh, Joanna? This was the ornament that I made with the uh, paint from today. I made an ornament. I made a number of ornaments. I tried to keep it all kind of Christmassy themed, you know, Christmas crafts and whatnot. But I will say as I've gone along, not everything in there, like the colors, like it's not like all reds and greens and silvers and golds. Like there are some in there, but it's not all that. Um, a lot of the colors from, so mellow yellow is really similar to sunburst. Hi, doll stars. Welcome. Oh, awesome. Uh, so mellow yellow, I feel like they probably could have done done better. Uh, thanks, Mandy. As far as choosing colors. Um, orange petal and sandpiper. Those are pretty different. Those were okay. Serpent, gold dust. Gold dust is actually really similar to Aztec gold. Oh, here, let me zoom out a little bit. Gold dust is really similar to Aztec gold, so I probably... <laughs> Joanna! <laughs> Joanna, you're supposed to do one of the... I can't talk. I, I have four left open, but to be fair, it's because I needed to film the videos beforehand. Um, light rust is pretty close to burnt orange. Dragon breath and sundown are pretty good. Bloodshot is good. It's a nice kind of darker red. I think that was a really good addition. Lady Jane, it doesn't have an exact color. It's close to Bliss, but it's also pretty good. Uh, Rosie's not too bad. I think where they really won out was these darker colors. So like Shiraz and Evil Red, those were really good to add. As well as Wizard and Saber, those were both really good. So I think I think they did okay. I think they did okay. Well, what did you think of what you've opened so far, Joanna? Are you enjoying them? Okay. So we're gonna start with Wizard. Wizard. 
Well, I got the kids' advent calendars um, filled, so they're going to open them. They, they get to open their advent calendars after school, mostly because we're usually in such a rush in the morning. At least those are on school days. We're usually in such a rush in the morning. If I was to add an element of, here, open a present before school, like we'd be even more late to school. So I was like, all right, advent calendar openings will happen after you get home from school. Then, then you can eat the treat or play with the toy or whatever. But um, yeah, we don't we don't need to be late <laughs> any more than we are. Ah, awesome, Joanna! I'm so glad. Did you get the uh, the twelve or the twenty four? Every time I use this pencil, all I can keep thinking is you're a wizard pencil. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go ahead and do this one this color too. Okay. The thing of it is, is I also, I pop my knuckles. I know I shouldn't, but like my instinct is I really want to pop the knuckle on my middle finger. Not the one that's hurt, but like, I don't know. It's just <sighs> the 24. Yeah, I really enjoy the 24. It's so good. Plus, there's some super glitter gel pens, because I'm not spoiling anything, I won't tell you which day, but because the back of the box will tell you what you get. But those super glitter gel pens are always out of stock, so the fact that you get some of those in there too. And I'm not gonna lie, the packaging is everything, right? I've been trying to think about how I can reutilize that, like how could we craft that and like turn it into like an actual book? Like I'm not tossing that when it's done, I wanna, I wanna try to like upcycle it into something because you could even like repaint, you could repaint the front and the outside and like turn it into something. I don't know. I don't know, like a little diorama. I just feel like it's so cute. I don't wanna just chuck it, you know? Like a junk journal. You could do like a junk journal. It's like, it'd be a giant journal. <laughs> ah, there you go, Kenny, you got it. Use my iPad to find the calendar. My phone is useless for most links. Oh no. All right, so those are green ones. Um, let's go ahead and use castle. Yeah, let's use castle. All right, let's see if I can <laughs> see if can switch here. So when I do this, I have to like, just, I have to, Hold the hold the uh, the pencil between my two fingers here, and then just use my two fingers here to sharpen it. It's it's very uh, very entertaining. Yeah, maybe a card box. That'd be so cute. Ooh ooh. What if you could like empty out the inside and then use it to like hang up cards? Asta, thank you. Welcome to our coloring family. Get exclamation point hype and get those hype emotes. Here we go. Thank you, Asta. You now have access to all of these handy dandy emotes here. There you go. And anytime we get something new in the Etsy store, uh, members get a discount. So we recently had the uh, advent calendar was on sale when it went up uh, last month. So yeah. You poor baby, you need assistant. I'm good. It only takes me longer now because of her like flipping sausage finger over here. Um, so occasionally the kids want me to play Minecraft with them, but I play it on my computer. But my, I can't use my right clicker anymore. So it's like when I was playing with the mouse, I had to like move my index finger. <laughs> it's good stuff. But thank you for that, Asa, and welcome, welcome, welcome. You also have a cute little pencil next to your name, so you got those exclusive emotes and everything, and you can actually use those emotes not only in live chat, but in uh, comments on this channel as well. Dogs are barking next door. Uh, let's see, let's do this one in brown. And this one, and this one. 
Besides, it only has to be on for a week. Friday should be the last day that I need to wear this during stream. Besides, it needs to be covered right now. You, you all do not want to see that. <laughs> There we go. All right. Well, you know what's going to be cool, too? I want to check them out also. Uh, Arteza also just came out with some new uh, battery-powered sharpeners, electric ones and battery-powered ones. Um, but it's one of those standing ones that go up in the top, and it's supposed to have, like, smart stop technology. So, yeah, I'm really curious about those. Good morning, Julie. How are you? Okay, here we go. Um, let's use evil red. Oh, is this one? No, this one's not sharpened. There we go. Okay, we got to Get a sip of coffee here. But yeah, it's nice to. You're not bothered by wounds. Okay, awesome. <laughs> here we go. Wondering if I ever play online with people in Minecraft. Um, so technically I do. It's not like random people, it's people that I know. So when I do have time, I am part of a um, server of people online. They're all people my own age. Um, and we have a server where we, um, essentially we've built a big old, a big old city. I actually built a, a, a library. I built a library and what I did is I filled it with villagers and I made sure that every single villager that I had sold every kind of enchantment that you needed. So the idea is you go to the library and I got the villagers until I got the top. Now I know if, if, if you don't play Minecraft or don't know what it is, this isn't gonna make any sense. Um, but basically in the game, you buy books that can enchant tools or weapons to make them work better. And so in this particular instance, um, I got enough villagers so that I can have every single top tier book in there. So it's basically like a store where you go in and talk to the villagers and uh, you can get whatever enchantment that you need. So it's, it's, it's that kind of server where it's a community resource. There's like 20 of us that play on the server and we're all spread out and it's just a community thing. We have a community center where if you, there's something you need, like it's, it's pretty extensive, but yes. So I do play online. It's a very specific uh, set of friends, but as far as my kids are concerned, um, they like to, they like to play with me. So they play it on their switches and we will play together. So like last night, they really wanted to, spend some time because there was a new uh, download. We're using brown brick. There was a new download for the game, a new update, and so they really wanted to play it, and so they wanted me to play hide and go seek with them. So we played hide and go seek online. <laughs> Hi, Angela, thank you. Oh, awesome, Celine. You know, it's funny, I never played it because I thought, oh, you know, it's just for kids. You know, I, I definitely, you know, shouldn't. But the funny thing is, is kids are not, it's a fun game. Like, and it has been around for ages and honestly there are times when I don't feel like coloring I just want to wind down and plus the kids really enjoy playing like I play with the kids obviously doing stuff you know in real life it's not just video games but it's nice to be able to have that connection with them and they like that mommy knows and understands their game and you know it's just you know uh, a secondary way for me to bond with the kids and they they enjoy it and I enjoy it and you know, honestly, with the pandemic and everybody, you know, being, you know, social distancing and everything, having that extra outlet is really nice. Hi, Patricia. Let's see. So Shiraz. That is not what I want. Nope, that's not what I want. Let's get this pink here. Nice, Celine. I did Pokemon Go for a while, but I haven't picked it up in ages. Lady Jane. And honestly, I don't have too much time to do it very often, but every now and then I will. Um, I played Pokemon Snap when it came out, but that's because I played it back in the day. So it didn't take me long to uh, to beat that game. But you know, everybody needs some, some wind down time. Got my kids interested in Pokemon when it came out. That's awesome. Uh, let's use, what is this? Let's use Made in Pink. Because I want to get these leaves looking a bit more pinky and less brown 
But little little Steve absolutely loves uh, loves Minecraft. And um, my nieces and nephews also play, and actually so does my sister. Um, and so they will all get to play online sometimes, you know, cause it's just family. So I don't, I don't let the kids just do, you know, online all willy nilly, um, but they have the friend codes of their cousins. And so they will occasionally play uh, with their cousins and, and that kind of thing. And actually my mother, my mother downloaded it too. So they've played with my mother too. It's a family affair. It's a family affair. A 20 year old son bought me the latest Pokemon Brilliant Diamond game for Mother's Day. Oh, nice. That's awesome, Celine. Well, there was a new one that just came out, right? Is that the Pearl one that came out? So the kids for the Switch have Sword and Shield and uh, let's go Eevee, a couple of them. But yeah, we're definitely a, a video game kind of family. Like I said, I don't have as much time as I'd like to um, uh, these days, but when I do, when I do, I enjoy it a lot. I've got The Sims on my computer. Way back in the day, I played uh, World of Warcraft, but I have long since stopped playing that, but that was way back when, pre-kids, pre-kids. Um, background for this one, let's do... All right, there's not that many blues in this set, but we're I'm, I'm, I'm keeping us to, to just the dragon set, just the dragon set. So let's do bruise. We're gonna do bruise. There we go. All right, so let's do bruise. I might do a darker purple on the edge, but let's just start with this. But yeah, so the kids enjoy it and it's a lot of fun and it's just, you know, full on, full on creativity. And I probably wouldn't enjoy it as much if I didn't have um, the group of people that I, that I play with. EverQuest and EverQuest 2, nice. I've heard of those. I never played them. I'm trying to think what earlier ones. I did play RuneScape at one point. I haven't picked that up since ages. Yes, Patricia, I am. So we were working on Serene, but until my finger uh, gets better, we had to take a break from it because I don't want to accidentally uh, ruin the page. So uh, we're going to do this probably for this week and then get back to Serene next week because I will have this on until um, until this weekend. Right? They've been around forever. I think, Ru like, I think RuneScape was maybe in, in high school, maybe earlier than that. Absolutely it is. Absolutely it is. Uh, Joanna, did you see the Holderness, the Holderness video about Die Hard that just came out the other day? Go to the Holderness family. They did one on how, I haven't watched it yet, but the title was that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. So, uh, so check that one out there and watch that one. Oh, nice, Celine. Are you getting those for Christmas or did you already order them? Well, I chose this page because number one, Johanna's pages are the ones I'm most familiar with. So if my coloring is a little bit off, I wanna color something that I'm really comfortable with. And uh, number two, it's just nice and easy chill coloring, you know? Nothing too, nothing too complicated, nothing too intense. So I was just like, we just need something, something nice and comfortable and easy. Yeah, see, there you go. Oh, awesome, Celine. That's so exciting. Well, the kids aren't watching because they're at school, so I can say it, but you want to know what, um, I got them both one this year. You know what I got them, one of the items? It has nothing to do with art or coloring, but I just still think it's funny and I'll be curious to see how, how they do them. Um, I got them pogo sticks. Oh, Die Hard is, see, I haven't actually seen it. I haven't actually seen it. Steve should probably make me watch it. So I don't know, that came out like what, in the 90s? All right, Lady Jane. But yeah, I'm really curious. Now that we have, you know, like a garage and a driveway and we have, you know, like, we, we don't have carpet, you know, inside the house or anything anymore. There's plenty of room and space for them to do it. So I'm gonna be really curious to see how they handle it. 
I think they'll enjoy their gifts this year, but I'm particularly excited about the pogo stick. That is true. The good prevails. Well, and it's been out for a while, so I don't feel like I'm going to spoil it, but that's one of the reasons why uh, I was so upset at the end of Infinity War. Now, obviously, Endgame hadn't come out yet, you know, for Avengers, um, but at the end of Infinity War, I was just like, I just sat through two and a half hours for it to end like this. I was so upset after watching it. Help rescue my dragon pencils. They're lost. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope they make it to you soon. That supply chain, like it is, it is all kinds of messed up right now. Uh, I'm using Rosie at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna turn it again. I know I'm kind of turny turny, but I, my, I <laughs> they do. I got them on Amazon. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty impressive. They look pretty heavy duty. Who knows? Maybe little Steve might not be quite heavy to manage it, but he's in, he's in the age range for the ones that I got. So I don't know. We'll have to see how they handle it. I was ever, I was never able to do them very well. I was never able to do them very well, uh, because I couldn't, I couldn't keep my balance on them, but I think they'll have fun trying them at the very least. I don't know. My kids surprise me sometimes things that like I couldn't do as a kid and they like manage no problem. So I'm just like, we'll give them a shot. Like, I think they'll have fun trying to figure it out. I mean, they already have scooters and bikes and, and a small little trampoline, but I don't know when I do like gifts, whether it's for Christmas or birthdays, I like to make sure they have like one interactive gift, you know, not just something that does something, you know, not just, not just books or whatever else. And not necessarily a toy with like bells and whistles kind of thing, but something that they can do an activity with, you know? Oh, really? That's funny. Uh, let's see. Let's use Saber. Okay. And we're just going to do a little bit right here. Yeah, a non-techie toy. Exactly. I figure, I figure when they get older, they're only going to want techie toys, you know? And they each got a little, a little like what, like for, for their birthdays, they got, cause their birthdays are right close to each other. They got like this little Minecraft watch that was kind of techie. Oh, nice Kenny. Should I actually, quick question for those of you who have done pogo sticks, I should probably have them wear their helmets while they pogo, right? Of course, I don't know. I mean, if they're, if they're going to fall, I mean, how often do kids land on their heads? I mean, obviously they need to wear helmets when they ride their bikes, but is there any kind of like helmet law for pogo sticks? I'm wondering now. Maybe gloves to protect their hands if they fall or knee pads. Gosh, it's been so long since I played with a pogo stick. Of course, if you say pogo, people are going to think Pokemon go, but yeah, I don't know. Do you helmet for pogos? Is there a pogo helmet? <laughs> All right, we're gonna use our blender here. Most definitely, okay. I'll have to make sure I need to readjust them so they're not, because if they're bouncing, I need to make sure that the helmets aren't, aren't wobbled at all. I need to make sure they're not bouncing around. I mean, go figure, if you're letting them bounce up and down on cement, but. <laughs> Kenny, most definitely. Joanna, nah. <laughs> I love it. Okay, there is that one. I'm gonna get a sip of water here. That's a little concussion anyway. They didn't need those brain cells. Okay, we will definitely helm it up with the, uh, with the pogo sticks. Um, let's do this old that. What do mallards look like? Mallards have some green on them, but is it just their wings? Hang on, now I wanna look it up. Mallard duck, let's see. Oh, they have a green head, a brown chest. Okay, okay, because I wanna color that one like a mallard. <laughs> like a mallard. All right, so let's see, let's grab wizard. Yeah, I think maybe in the house, probably not, but if we're outside on the sidewalk, probably. Gone are the days when you played on a trampoline that didn't have pads on the springs. It make you careful. <laughs> I'll be honest though, 
Oh, Celine, I'm kind of glad for that upgrade. Those springs were friggin' terrifying, and I definitely, I definitely pinched myself once or twice with those. And we don't have a one of those really big trampolines. We just have like a mini, like almost exercise trampoline. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think, I think they'll enjoy the pogo sticks. I also got them, you know, those, um, bouncy balls with the handles on them. So they, they get, <laughs> the theme for Christmas this year is bouncy. <laughs> but you know, those they'll love, you know, hopping around the house and everything. All right. So we're going to use wizard. We're going to do a little mallard duck here. Although, yeah, I was gonna say something, but I changed my mind. <laughs> my inner filter, stay away from curbs. Oh my gosh, right? Absolutely. All right, so we're using wizard. Annie is out at the door. Can you guys hear her meowing? <laughs> She's so dramatic. Annie, what's the matter? Okay. Uh, let's see, let's use, good morning, Della. You hear her meow? Yep, she's right outside the door. Seven year old when I was given a sail though, like my father said, go sail. Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> she's like, let me in. That's funny, it's all, I'll let her in, but she won't do anything. She'll just come in, look around and then be like, oh, okay. Hi, Mona. Like just on your own, Joanna? Okay, we're using zombie now is the name of this color. <laughs> in true black widow form, this one is named a zombie. Yeah, she doesn't want anything to do with me. She just doesn't like being cut off from areas, especially when she knows someone is in there. All right, he has a yellow bill. Oh my gosh, am I, I realize I'm not even looking at, okay, yeah, no, we're good. You guys can see it. Okay, let's blend this out just a little bit. Okay, he has a yellow bill. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, things are definitely, even just for me, I mean, I grew up in the 80s and things are way different now than they were then as far as safety and everything. I mean, I remember riding my bike through town by myself, like going from our house to the library and that was probably a solid 20 minute bike. And I'm like 10 years old, like, I don't know, things are just different. Uh, all right, so gold dust. Just a little bit there. All right. <laughs> My cat's head just popped up to the sound. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, okay, so as a mallard, he has a brown chest. So let's get, what's our darkest brown here? What's this one? This one is castle. We could do castle. Oh my gosh, Joanna. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, absolutely, Celine. You know, and some things are for the better. Some things, you know, maybe not so much, but I don't I don't think there's too much wrong with a little bit more safety, you know? <laughs> I'm always down for more safety. All right. So I'm going to do this. It's a little bit lighter than I'd like. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to fill this in with the rest of this brown. And then we're gonna grab our black. Wait, was there a black? There's not a black. Oh, but there's this color here. This is dungeon. Okay. Here we go. Okay, that's dungeon. And then he's got kind of white and he's got a little bit of brown on his wings. A little bit like at the bottom. Let's do that. There we go. Okay, let's use our castle. The castle dungeon. There you go. Yeah, no more boat. I went missing and my dad was a cop. He called the whole NYPD to find me. Mommy shot the boat with dad. Oh my gosh, Joanna. Good lord. Wait, you meant missing. So like what happened? Did you get lost or something? Or were you just like late for curfew? What happened? Okay, and then let's get cobblestone. Pretty sure that was 
color in here. Ah, yeah, there it is. Cobblestone. There we go. A little bit of gray here. There we go. Oh, he's got a ridge on his head. Hmm. All right. Well, ours a, is a mallard with character. Come home when the street lights are on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Saber. Well, now that we have a fenced backyard, you know, we, we let the kids go out there. And so it was kind of cool to be like, oh, hey, the uh, sun's going down. Guess they should come in now. <laughs> It was a new experience for us after living in an apartment for so long. Um, okay, let's see. Let's do, let's do some water. Weather came in. My dog, Mr. Potts, and I were fine, but to see 50 cops waiting for me was scary. Oh my gosh, right? Okay, let's do some blue. What is this? This is Dark Knight. Chrissy Irish movies. <laughs> oh my gosh, Joanna, that's awesome. Yeah, I was watching one of your videos one time and I heard you do an impression of your mom. You have a pretty good uh, imitation of an Irish accent. All right, let's see. Uh, Pleasant Blue. I was very impressed with it. And then let's do, let's grab this. When my kids were much younger. I told the three of them to go outside and play and you have three quarter acre of backyard, go play. Nope, they played in their room. <laughs> well, a lot of times we're using Fizz now. If I need the kids to like, if make sure that they, you know, they're away from screens, cause we do regulate their screen time. You know, we keep an eye on like, okay, how much have they had this week? That kind of thing. It's never just a, hey, go play on screen time for the next few hours kind of thing. Um, so we regulate it. So I'll tell them. <laughs> Well, like, okay, we can play outside, you can play in the room, and they'll choose one. But if, like, it's not an, an outside time, I'll be like, all right, you have a choice. You can either go clean your room or go play in your room. And they'll be like, we'll play in our rooms. <laughs> yes, it was so good. I heard it. I was just like, oh. All right, we're going to do Rosie. Hi, Celeste. How are you? I think I'm getting the hang of this two-fingered coloring. <laughs> okay, so we're just using some rosy on top. Okay, and then we're gonna grab... What was that one color we used? It was... Lady Jane, is that the one? No, it was like a peachy, kind of orangey one. What was it? Hang on. Oh, it was this one here, orange pet, orange, orange petal. That's what it was. Used to stand on Lego parts, find parts of crayons and coloring books. Oh gosh, yeah, no. Yeah, there you go, Joanna. All right, orange petal. Nothing like a big old dog. When we get the opportunity, I definitely want to get the kids a dog. I feel like that's a good experience to have growing up. We always had dogs growing up. Probably our best dog that I remember was, um, his name was Patch, and he was a Lab and Sheltie mix, and he was all black except for a white patch on his chin. Uh, okay, Mellow Yellow. He was a really good dog. He lived for quite a while. All right, and then Rosie. There we go. All right, our little Mr. Duck here, Mr. Duck on a sunset. <laughs> oh, see, that's nice, Kenny. I like that a lot. Um, let's see, let's use Green Glow. I haven't used that yet. At least not on this particular one. So we're gonna use Green Glow. Do 
Coming on time. We will probably end just a little bit early again today because my fingers are getting a little stiff, but that's probably just gonna be the norm for this week and then things will get back to normal next week when I can have this splint off. But I find that my muscles in my hand are much more tense when I have this on and I'm trying to get the coloring done. Exactly. I mean, we have we have cats, obviously, and we've got, you know, the hamster. And so, you know, they're, they're learning responsibility that way. Um, but I feel like there is definitely something, you know, in having a dog. There we go. Let's use the blender. You don't see me as a dog person? I do enjoy dogs, definitely. I just haven't had one in ages. I had one once when I was like 18, but I was a terrible pet owner at 18. And uh, we ended up finding her a new home anyway, because I was just not responsible enough to care for a dog uh, on my own. I was still trying to figure out how to take care of myself. Um, but we always had dogs growing up, always. I've always been an animal person. <laughs> I used to have a dog that was half dingo. People used to cross the street when I was walking the dog. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the kids would really benefit from a dog, but um, I want to get a, a uh, golden retriever. We're going to use crimson stone, um, but I did find there's actually a golden retrieval rest retrieval golden retriever rescue uh, operation. I think it's in Houston. So if we wanted to do a rescue, we do have that option. We would just need to go to Houston. But we also have the ASPCA in Houston. But I would like to, uh, I would like to get the kids a retriever. And I kind of honestly, I'd like to get a puppy. I'd like the kids to experience that as well. Okay, here we go. Ta -da! Um, let's do these stars over here. Um, let's get Dark Knight. Okay, we're gonna do another kind of nighttime sky. Not quite galaxy sky like we did uh, with the spaceship, but we'll do a nighttime sky. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing, Celine. I was watching, there was something from the Dodo I was watching the other day, and they had fostered a, a Pipple puppy, or a Pipple mother who was about ready to give birth, and so they were able to experience um, the dog, the dog giving birth and everything. I think that would be so cool, so cool. Um, okay, so let's see. Dark Knight, and then let's do Saber. Yeah, let's do Saber. Puppies just go so fast though, like in rescues, especially if you want a specific kind of breed. So you'd have to you'd have to get really lucky to find the one that you want. Okay, I'm not seeing a ton of difference in the way that we're coloring this for differentiation so we're gonna grab another color here exactly Celine all right so we're gonna use pine get a little bit of green in the sky and then we're gonna throw in a little bit of blue as well it might help us broach the uh, where do babies come from conversation a little bit easier they've been asking a few more questions lately I have some books if we really wanted to sit down to discuss it, but I just don't think I'm ready to explain to them where babies come from. <laughs> Pleasant blue. I mean, they're still at the age where they assume that if someone kisses, that means they're getting married. And I'm like, yeah, sure, let's roll with that. But mine has food? Yeah, yeah, the advent calendar is food. So the holiday calendar from Arteza, the holiday calendar from Arteza is the one that opens up. But yeah, mine, mine is food. It's all the gingerbread men 
and hot chocolate and pumpkin pie, tamales, mincemeat, mulled cider, uh, the Christmas pudding, trifle, yule log, panettone. Mm, these were, I always forget, Polish cookies, I think. Fruit cake, and then a spiced hot chocolate, a, it's like a rice pudding of some sort, and then you've got your fruit, you've got a, I think it's a pavlova, and then there's an Irish fruit cake. There is a name for this one, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting a lot of these names now. Oh, pinwheel cookies. Uh, this is a flan. Um, this is a Japanese kind of Christmas cake. Anyway, there's a number of them. Would rather have this one. This one's from uh, 30 Days of Creativity, Kenny. This page is 30 Days of Creativity. Ow! Get my stupid finger on the tripod. <laughs> Honey, daddy like each other very much. They hold hands. Exactly. Okay, cool. Take a look at it, Joanna. Yeah, so the one we're working on now, the stamps, this is 30 Days of Creativity. There we go. All right, let's grab our pleasant blue again. There we go. All right, let's use our blender. A little bit shadowed when I put my hand there. There we go, that's a little bit better. Oh, okay, cool. Here we go. Hi, Daniela. Okay. Um, before we do the stars, let's do the frame. Let's do the frame. Let's grab dungeon. Yeah, I think dungeon was it. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I already colored the first day. I already colored the first day. I thought about that, but then I'd be like, okay, well, I'm not, I'm not streaming every day, and I don't know that I want to do full video uploads for it every day since I'm already doing full video uploads for the Arteza um, holiday calendar. So, yeah, I'm just going to post, I'm just going to post the colored, uh, the colored image on that one. But, yeah, no, this one's, this one's just 30 days of creativity. I had to be uh, realistic on what I thought I could accomplish this month. We're not having a dog hair shedding on me. <laughs> That's awesome, Joanna. Now this brown is a little bit more yellowish than I'd like, but since we're just using the dragon set, we're making it work. All right, let's get castle. Okay. Like that three with cats. I have three, one short hair, one medium, and ragdoll short one. <laughs> yeah, we've got the three too, and uh, they they like to sleep on our bed a lot. So we we wash our comforter fairly often, just because I don't want to sleep with a bunch of cat hair. Sometimes, sometimes Paul really get all up in my business and be like, hello, mother, I'm going to sleep right next to your face. I'm like, oh, great. Th thanks, buddy. How's the hand? It's a little achy. It's a little sore, but I think part of it, um, we're using cardboard now. Part of it is it's just kind of holding it out because it's not broken or anything, but because I got cut right on the knuckle, I have to make sure that I don't bend it. It has to stay straight so that it can heal without uh, reopening. But I shouldn't have to be, I shouldn't have to keep it like this for too long. All right, let's get mellow yellow. Just gonna fill that one in because we are gonna use some gel pen on that. 
But I think I want to use another brown here. Uh, let's do brown brick. Hi, Allie. How are you? Okay, let's use our blender. Okay, speaking of cats, the short hair one, which is rescue, is starting to jump on my desk and look at me as if say, uh, mom, it's bedtime. Right, yeah, Annie will wait for us when it's bedtime and she's just like, are you guys going to bed yet? Like, if we're late to bed, she's like, guys, what is going on? All right, we are gonna grab the uh, super glitter gel pen because it's seriously like my favorite now. This one came out of the advent calendar. Just rescued Blue out of a small tree. Oh no! I am doing well, Allie. How are you? Oof. Okay, drop that. Where is... Yes, we want this. We're gonna get the Arteza paint pen. Let's do the paint pen first. Paint pen first. I might need to grab a new one. This one is... This one is, I think, about empty. Hang on. I'm gonna grab a fresh one here. I have used that one completely up, so I'm gonna grab a new one here. Here we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Much better. Got some on my hand. Um, okay, let's do this. So all the little dots are gonna get white and all the little circles are gonna get gold. There we go. Oh, well we missed you, Allie. All right, so now we're gonna use the gold. And then we're gonna outline these stars in gold as well. Probably won't do the inside lines because it's so small. I don't want the, the gold gel pen to completely overtake the stars. There we go. All right. Here we go. We did like four of them. I'm actually probably gonna go ahead and wrap it up here though because my fingers are starting to get kind of stiff and I need to go rest them. Um, but yeah, like I said, we only have to wear this for like one more stream. So we should be back to normal Monday. And I think Monday is when we'll pick back up with Serene. So this week's just kind of like a chill. Let's just color some little things. Um, in 30 days of creativity because I didn't want to uh, overcomplicate it here. Oh, that'll be good, Allie. Well, we're here Wednesdays, so it'll be good. It's daytime. Anyway, um, but yeah, thank you, Celine. I'm gonna go ahead and call it here and go rest my hand just a little bit. And then uh, we'll be back live again on Friday. But in the meantime, in the meantime, uh, 
Oh, sounds good, Celine. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget the coloring advent calendar over on the Etsy store. I'll be posting pictures with that. Uh, there will be daily uploads on Reels and um, and uh, 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 YouTube Shorts with the daily uh, advent calendar as well. So lots of that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be live again on Friday, okay? So everyone have a great rest of your week. Um, let's see, Joanna, thank you again for your super chat. Uh, Ziffany, I missed that. You subscribed. Thank Thank you for subscribing Asta thank you again for becoming a member and yeah you knocked us up to uh, up to 40 here so 10 more 10 more 10 more members and we unlock another uh, another emote all right so everyone have a great rest of your week keep being amazing and I will see you in a couple days all right bye